Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is not really that much, it's just a presentation video uh, because I made something uh, a lot of you asked me about. I made the inventory system and I ported it so that is in filter screen mode and it's going to be easier for everyone to implement and use. Uh, I'm not gonna go into great detail about how you install it because it's really straightforward if you ever had the server before and if you don't know how to install it you can uh, ask me anytime in private you know, on my discord or on my discord server as well so before I show you how, how you utilize this script and how you add items and stuff like that I'm gonna need to clear up the inventory and start from from scratch basically okay now I clear the database and everything should be empty we should have no items neither on myself uh, and neither in the system and so to create a new item you first you have to log in into your aircon um, aircon mode like that and then type item editor after that you double click on this and it's going to create a default object for yourself you go in here and first thing you want to do you want to add a model to the item there is going to be a default model which doesn't really matter right now but i went on dev.printside.com and grabbed this uh, combat shotgun uh, model and so i'm going to use that now you can uh, Rename your object shoot gun. I can't really type and speak uh, at the same time. After that, you can insert the description as well. I'm not gonna do that right now because it doesn't really matter, but you can do that and uh, try all sorts of descriptions. Uh, now you have all sorts of properties, which I'm going to explain one by one. So usable, what does usable mean? Uh, let's say you want to add a food item, right? Uh, if you want to add like a hamburger, uh, which the player is going to use, uh, you will need to enable this and have it on yes, so that the player can consume it. Uh, in this case, we have a weapon, so uh, we don't want to use that. Uh, can equip this means uh, can you equip the item on your character in this case that is uh, affirmative because we have a shotgun and we might want to equip that on our character so we are going to enable that stackable what does this mean this means that the item will be able to stack on top of either other items uh, I'm gonna keep this on yes, it doesn't matter if it's a weapon um, on my uh, Wild West uh, server project I I made them non-stackable the weapons because I didn't want the player to the players to stack the weapons on top of each other but it, in this case it's possible because you can define the max stack of the uh, of the item or of the weapon in this case and that can basically represent your ammo uh, but if you want to have the ammo separately like you want to have a um, ammo item uh, you might want to disable this stackable um, option the max stack is pretty pretty self-explanatory this basically means how high can you stack items by default it's set to 1000 but you can set it to uh, pretty much whatever number you want as long as the number doesn't um, get out of the inventory cell box thingy color this is really interesting because with this you can basically change the background color of the item and let me show you that let's go with this lime green let's close this and at the moment we don't have the item but we can give ourselves the item by using 
give the give item command. Uh, also, for this command, you're going to have to be uh, aircon logged. So yeah, keep that in mind. We have a few uh, parameters here. First is, is the player ID, then the item ID, which will be displayed in the item editor. I'm going to show you in a minute, and the amount. Since we made the item non-stackable, we can give a higher amount. But if you make the item um, non-stackable, you should give yourself only one item so that you don't fill up your inventory. And yeah, as you can see, the background is green, but the model doesn't really is not really displayed properly. So we're going to have to uh, tweak that a little bit. So here is the item ID. This item ID over here, you're going to have to use when you give uh, someone or yourself any item. That's when I say item ID, you you should know that I'm referring to this item ID over here. So how do we change the rotation and the or basically make the item look a little bit better inside the player's inventory? Uh, first thing I should do is change the zoom. This, this, these options really differ for each item. Uh, in this case, the item has the anchor point, uh, like where the handle is, and that's why uh, it's always the handle is always in the middle of the box. If the anchor point was in the center of the shotgun, then the shotgun would have been centered, which uh, I can really I can't really do anything about. But yeah, you can play and tweak these options, this uh, appearance, however you like. For now, to keep the video short, I'm not gonna tweak it any longer. You can also I added two two new buttons over here, uh, which I think are pretty pretty explanatory. You can drop the item, and in this case, the item was destroyed. But inside the include file, there is a uh, callback, uh, which can be called, which will be called uh, if you include it in your game mode. Uh, that will return the item ID and you can use that item ID with another function that I wrote to get the item model and you can write like a script to drop the item on the ground. For example, this is really up to you and your imagination. I ju I'm just giving you the tools uh, so that you can do uh, lots of cool stuff. The other uh, button is use and this is basically uh, this will be applied for uh, food items. Let me actually create a uh, usable item. Let's go inside item editor and let's create a new item. And you can create as many items as you like. Uh, actually, not really. There is a limit of 100 items, but you can increase that limit inside this, the file script to pretty much how, how much you, you need. Uh, actually, don't overdo it. Don't don't make it like something ridiculous, like ten thousand items, because that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> but well, if you want to do that, then you can. So yeah. Anyway, I created a new default item. I'm gonna use this uh, model ID, and let's go call this hamburger, like that. And this is going to be a usable item. It's going to be stackable, no problem. Let's give myself an item. Also, let me show you. I made it so that when you receive items, uh, the inventory will uh, refresh in real time. Let me show you. Give item, item ID 1. Let's give myself 10, uh, 100, what am I saying? 1000 hamburgers. Well, I'm gonna have to tweak this a little bit, which is not really a problem. But as you saw in there, it updated instantly. Let me actually tweak the rotation a little bit. This requires a little bit of trial and error. Let me see. There you go. Now it's it's actually upside down, but so let's go minus ninety. And now it's the way it should be. Also, let me make it a little bit bigger. 
by going to 0 0.8 for example there you go we have a burger okay so we now have a consumable item so if we click on it and then click on use it's going to actually use that item and deduct one from the stack um, but as you saw it didn't really do anything because nothing was scripted but if you want to do something uh, you have the tools as it's, as I said before you have the tools there is a callback function that will um, be be called basically each time you click the use button and you can play an animation you can increase your life you can do all sorts of things it's up to you and your imagination and how you want to create your server so yeah this is the inventory system i hope you guys like it and if you want to um, get it for yourself unfortunately it's not for free um, because i had to work a little bit on this one and it took me quite a, a little bit of time to create it and perfect it well not really perfect it but make it be stable <laughs> okay um, so if you want to download it it's up on gtahub.net you can go over there at the moment the price is set to 14.99 but if you use the uh, discount code inside the description you can save up to five dollars on your purchase so you can get it for for five nine uh, for 9.99 i'm sorry i'm stupid so yeah this is basically for this video i hope you guys um find this at least interesting uh, and if you don't want to use it it's okay uh, or actually not use it uh, but buy it it's okay you can develop your own <laughs> uh, and yeah, i guess i'll see you in the next one which uh who knows what will be in the next video i mean uh, so yeah i see you guys later have a have a great day